the other one will have Three, to adapt. Two, if Adi Mesic goes for a lot of aerial play, will we see a lot of Mini using Axe Downlight for anti-air? Who knows? We'll see. But Mini already going into the neutral light, dash neutral light. But Adi Mesic, these are these two players, very storied players. They've been playing against each other in this exact situation for so long that Adi Mesic, he knows exactly when to save that dodge for. And that was one of those moments. Mini's not gonna be able to get those da those neutral light dash neutral lights that he's been getting all against blue in the winners finals. I'm sure uh, they are no strangers to these matchups. Nice up toss from M for Mini is going to interrupt that ground pound from Adi Mestic so we can get back up on the stage. But now we're seeing M for Mini with the Katars. Could Ooh. go for a side air, but Adi with the double dare, not enough. He backed off, went to the corner, thought M for Mini was not going to get that very tiny touch, but M for Mini is holding on by the skin of his teeth, does get that wall touch and resets both of them. But now M for Mini is unarmed. He might go for the uppercut off the downlight. There's the kick, goes for the gravity canceled uppercut, but Addy able to dodge out. And Mini sticking with the unarmed. Mm -hmm. That was, I'm actually very surprised that Mini was able to get back in that situation because Addy Mystic timed those down airs to specifically break those jump back to stages that Mini was using. Like he they were, broke. They were two, interrupting dares. Mm -hmm. They were they were definitely interrupting dares. He had no more jumps left after that. He had, I guess, recovery. If he no, I believe he used. I think that. he burned it. He really was was uh, running out of fuel there. But either way, he did uh, end up ultimately losing that stock. He comes back. He's gonna be sticking with this axe for sure. He did get the kill off of Addy Mastic with that side signature, that axe swing, that big uh, flaming axe. And now we see Addy trying to stay on top of him. And Mini, that's kind of the pitfall of axe in this matchup is it doesn't really have the strongest uh, stacked options. And Addy taking full advantage of it. You see him staying right on top of Ember Mini. And Ember Mini, he's dashing left and right, trying to get that space. He's trying to keep Addy Mastic at that axe length of distance. Weapon throws coming out from both players. Adi Mesic getting the more successful one, I'd say, because Mini was off stage. Neutral light, dash neutral light again. Mini looking for a little bit more of a successful option as he tries to look for like a, an axe slam to try to pop Adi Mesic up into a possible combo. Mini playing very carefully. Adi Mesic is a pretty active player, uh, proactive in the sense that he is no stranger to just going right into his opponent. And Mini, knowing that, you see him kind of oh. kind of stay back on the back foot on purpose to try to see what he does as soon as it comes out. Give him a little bit of space to react. And Mini doing a great job with the guitars, getting a little disruption, but his damage is so high at this point. That recovery, that uppercut, almost taking Mini off the top. Oh, Mini completely throwing away weapons. This is a full-on unarmed match. But Mini finally picks up another weapon. He's got the axe in hand, goes for the dare, but Addy impeccable spacing around that, avoids the swing, gets right underneath it for the uppercut to finish off M for Mini, and M for Mini is on his uh, final stock for game one. Addy Messi going for the big game. Oh no. Hits the ground pound, backs off, and M for Mini is gonna be able to get back up to that wall. Instead, throwing the Katars up, going for some a little bit of weapon damage there, trying to get that uppercut for the kill. Couldn't quite get the finishing force though. Get it? Weapon toss. Addy can't touch. He had the recoveries to get back, but that was such a long distance for him to travel. Mini basically had that entire stock in his hands. It was just, how do I want to confirm this? Safe with a weapon throw? Do I want to chase him down, look for a the down dance. air? But he knew exactly what to go for in that instance. Or Addy Mestic already coming back, dealing damage, pushing Mini closer and closer to the red. Every single hit. Another down air combo, or a down light combo into side air. Mini looking for a little bit of retaliation. That's the plus side on Axe is that it does do a lot of damage being one of those heavier power weapons. It's a little bit slower, but the payoff is that it takes fewer hits to get equivalent amounts of damage. Uh, and M for Mini knows how to get those hits. We've been seeing him hit those Axe side light nares and then just trying to follow up after it. Addy Mestic, no, did enough. Kept Mini from getting to the wall. You saw Mini going for that nair, just trying to get that chase dodge on Addy Mestic. Couldn't quite get the distance there. And that's gonna be game one, going the way of adding Mestic. And here's a replay of that final uh, few seconds for M for Mini. Mm -hmm. As Mini tried to create a little space, you saw him on his back foot trying to figure out what to do, how to retaliate. But Addy Mestic getting that weapon throw and the follow up as well was just able to find the exact specific or the exact scenario that he needed to close out that game and start the climb back to take this into the reset. Yeah, the journey of a thousand steps starts with one step 
as I, I think that's what they say, right? I don't know. I'm not a savant. <laughs> well, but, you, you, you can say that. Yeah, so like, the journey of walking somewhere starts with starting to walk somewhere, and Adi Mestic has started <laughs> that walk. Uh, he's got to win this best of five and then go into another best of five. Again, Three, there is uh, two, a very long road one, ahead of, uh, for Adi Mestic, and he has just I mean, barely started it. I mean, this is Berhala, though. You don't have to step. You don't have to take steps to travel a thousand miles. You can dash your way dash. across. <laughs> Just but saying. Mystic, uh, currently unarmed against Emperor Mini, but still looking very confident. Not even worried about it. Mini just going full weapon control here, just trying to toss every single weapon away. Now you see he's going for that double neutral light. There again, you see him throwing away the weapons. Wants to keep Addy denied of weapons. Knows that at the very least, if he has a weapon, he's going to do a little bit more damage per hit. And Addy Mystic finally picking up a weapon, has the gauntlets, and the damage difference is basically even between the two. Mm -hmm. Mini did start off with a very, very strong option select on keeping Addy Mystic close to that edge. Uh, now getting a little bit more damage off that side, that side light combo. Addy Mystic trying to turn things back around with that aerial combo, push him off stage with the, with the fire strike from that Axe coming out, being very devastating, pushing Addy Mystic off to the side, now trying to find his own retaliation, but Mini doing a fantastic job. He's got the right tools for an edge guard and that recovery. As Addy Mystic tries to get back, that is going to do it for the first stock, and Mini taking this lead. Uh, still a very close one. He is in the red. We're seeing Mini basically try to slow this game down. He's going for a lot more dash dancing, trying to get Addy Mystic to approach him, and when Addy does, he'll dash back and go for the punish. There you saw Addy, a while back, you saw Addy go for that side signature. Mini dashed back and then hit his side signature uh, onto Addy oh. Mystic. He's doing oh. the same stuff, but Addy with the double weapon toss, hit one, picked it back up, went for the second toss. That double tap of the weapon toss is gonna take down M for Mini's first stop. Mini with the approach, with the guitars, Katars being so, like this, especially the Ragnar Katars, having that neutral sig option and the down sig option, fantastic edge guard scenario. Just neutral headed man. I mean, That's I like mean, four you don't even need anymore. In a row forever, man. You just say that like it's a lot I don't need other buttons, man. I'm just gonna keep neutral lighting. You'll dodge down thinking I'm gonna do something, but no, I'm gonna keep doing neutral lights. There you see it for many. Staying grounded with the guitar. It's not going for dare loops, not going for that half pipe, not going for any sort of nair follow up. Instead, it's just it's just grounded play from the guitars from them for many. You know, that's that's probably what he might be going for, you know? Throw out that, you know, raw neutral light catch him off, see what he does afterwards, because if he makes a certain dodge, you know how to read it the next time you go into it. Ground pound from Addy Mestic, M for Mini gets above. Opportunity here, does hit the dare, and Addy Mestic's second stock goes down. Mini making the approach with this axe, starting Addy Mestic's last stock off with a little bit of pressure here, looking for the aerial pressure to up throw into combo with the axe, just a little bit of a light combo, and that. Looks like it might have been a decent. No, that's tilt, man. Every yeah. Mini's done. He's like, I'm done with that stock. I don't need it. I'm gonna beat you on my final stock. As Mini's back into it, or this is Mini Bot and Addy Mystic is, is he's just having fun. Man. It's, it's a fun game, guys. It's cool. He accidentally he he popped off so hard on that kill <laughs> that he accidentally unplugged his Ethernet. Yeah. He's like, just completely unplugged everything. Uh, that's that's that uh that UK internet man. M for Mini Brexited out of the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you gotta give props though. Like in in tournament situations, this is grand finals, and Addy Mestic is gonna give the respect to M for Mini to to dodge the bot instead did, of just going for the kill. You know, did like that, did that bot just ground pound. I don't think I've ever seen a bot ground pound ever. They my... they they updated the AI on bots. Like Ooh. this little known thing is that bots are actually like smarter. Mini's oh. back into it. There you see the flag taunt. Bots. Do oh, I don't not know. You just, I, I, I don't know. You were saying just bots. Saying. They had their AI updated. Maybe they do now. <laughs> Maybe they're flag taunt now. <laughs> we do see uh, final stocks here in game two. Addy Messick versus M for Mini Mini throwing away the guitars, trying to go for the unarmed onto Addy Messick. There's the downlight into the uppercut from Mini, but Addy not in that kill percent just yet. That's just damage from Mini and uh, a little bit of control so that he can pick up the axe. I think he's gonna be looking for a lot of these either down. Uh, down airs or neutral lights because they're neutral. neutral oh, the neutral signature. Sick. The flame breath, Player the fire one, breath, man. the dragon breath, whatever you want to call it. That's going to be the prime anti air that he is going to be picking out to find that kill. Burning Taking up the uh, the sky there with that fire. I like that. That signature just looks really cool. Yeah. Visually, just burning the sky above that's, you. That's. I think that's what I'm going to call it from now because I, I like the sound of that. Burn the sky. Yeah, and for many. Hitting that neutral signature, the burn the sky, 
And Addy Mastic is gonna go down. That's gonna put him at one apiece as we get into game three. I like the the change up for Man for Mini. He mm -hmm. slowed it down, played a little bit more of that spacing game, which is what he needs to do mm -hmm. in this matchup. I know there's there's people out there in chat probably like, oh my god, M for Mini, he's just he's just parrying. But it's like he has the weaker stacked options, so he has to play mm -hmm. the distance game. He has to play to his advantage, which is the ranged game, which is where he goes for the side light and air follow-ups. Mm -hmm. Addy with the swap! I told you, if there was anyone who was going to swap, it's Addy. Now but that is not, not... Bodvar. We did not call Bodvar. I was about to say, I didn't I didn't think it was going to be this. Wu Shang, maybe, because that's Three, a pass pick. Two, but this, one, Bodvar, one. is a very popular pick right now. Hammer uh, is, yeah, has been favored come, he's by a few. He's back in the meta. Yeah, he, Hammer has been favored by quite a few players. And we've seen a lot of players play, uh, uh, start playing Bo Bodvar, who weren't, you know, already like QS, who always plays Bodvar. Um, Addy Mestic pulling this out. I'm not too surprised uh -oh. that it's a Bodvar. He, he does have the sword carry over it, and M for many is gonna follow his death. Big Gimp from Addy Mestic. Mm -hmm. But he could have done that with Val. Like it was it was a sword. It wasn't like he got like a down signature in there from Bodvar. Like I'm not sure what it is about the Bodvar that gave Addy Mestic the confidence to go for that offstage sword gimp, but it worked impeccably well for him. M for Mini, already on his second stock, almost lapped by Addy well, Mestic. Could be the SIG options. Bodvar does have some very solid signature moves, some heavy attacks, uh, like that, like the bear strike. Um, you have that like forward dash lunge with the sword that covers great space and is good for, you know, getting people off stage who are trying to take the long approach. Uh, he's got a lot of great options, but Mini is going to be finding that just that spinning axe recovery off the top, taking Addy Messick's first stock. It's all even back up now. Addy Messick with a hammer. This is going to be the question. Can he use the hammer effectively? Because we haven't seen him play hammer in a long time. It's uh, definitely kind of the mystery weapon here for Addy Messick. Uh, so far, he hasn't really gotten a lot, but M for Mini is going to give him some anyways. It's M for Mini. Uh, looks like he, he came back, but no, he's gonna Brexit again. It looks like full Brexit <laughs> as uh, Addy Mestic is gonna Player take the two Swift 2-0 over M for Mini there. Double accident on Mini's side. Might have to do a full reset of his system. Just make sure mm -hmm. that everything is okay. But it's okay. Mini, he's coming from the winner's side. Mm -hmm. If he loses one more game, it's not like he's going on with the silver medal. Mm -hmm. It's not like the end of the world. Instead, he just goes to a reset for another best of five. Either way, they're going to be banning out these maps. What maps do you think are going to be the last three that they can keep up? Uh, Twilight, Small Brawl Haven, and I want to say Blackguard. I think, I think you're right. I think you're right. And I think that they may go to either Blackguard or Brawlhaven of those three. We haven't really seen a lot of Blackguard today. So I think it'd be a kind of an odd pick, but it's not the worst pick in the world. And there you see it. There's the three. And it is going to be Small Brawlhaven. This is really coming into favor with players. I think mm. a lot of players like this addition into the map pool. I think this fits the role that a lot of people wanted Mammoth to be. Yeah, well, Three, Mammoth, two, you know, it's a similar one, stage four. style. I think it's got a little bit longer walls on yes. the side, uh, bigger blast zones as well, so it's hard to find some of those kills uh, off on the top or in the corners. And the blast zones are so close on this map that a lot of people can find those uh, early gimps, the early kills with the signature moves. It makes uh, finding uh, kill options early on, which people aren't used to because of those wide blast zones, um, much more viable. So characters like Queen Nye on this map are actually very vi viable because of how much force they just put out. They're and Mini getting hit by the weapon throw, I don't think he can get back. Nope, very close, but that was not gonna do it. And this is what we're talking about with Addy Mestic with those offstage weapon throws. He is so incredibly precise, getting that double tap to deny them the distance they need to get back to the wall. Really solid stuff from Addy Mestic offstage, but now we're seeing him back on stage. M for Mini with the guitars. He's getting a little bit of damage onto Addy Mestic. Uh, hasn't really been contested on this uh, second stock just yet from Addy Mestic. Now you're seeing him hit the down light. Can't quite get that dare follow up, but M for Mini needs to find the finisher on Addy, Mest Addy Mestic's first stock and soon. That ground coverage from Addy Mastic has actually been exceptionally well done on his part. Finally getting disrupted by Mini's side air. He was in the red, a very difficult kill position to deal with. Addy Mastic made the most of it and got a lot of damage. 
in those grounded reeds, kept them in the air for quite a long time, and now Eddie Mastic with the sword, turning things right back around, getting a lot of this aerial damage. Mini, though, having a slight advantage with having that axe, the sweeping hitboxes make it very hard for Addy Messick to get back oh! in. Oh, but the ground pound into weapon dead. throw, Addy Messick looking very clean in that kill number two, and now uh, uh, half a stock up, I guess. Being in the orange, being a very uh, very good position to extend this stock. It's going to be all on Mini to try to return this damage. Otherwise, he's going to be forced into a reset. That was a really good gimp from Addy Messick. Caught him on that dodge up and then immediately got that follow-up weapon toss off the ground path, and Mini was 100% done for, but we are seeing final stocks here. Addy Messick keeping this offstage pressure. There's the dunk, Ooh. there's the ground pound! <laughs> Chase deep, he could afford it if it messed up because he had an extra stock, but he went very deep for that final hit, and Addy Messick is going to get the reset. That is a risky slam dunk because you don't know how far down you've gone once you hit that magnifying once glass. Once you're in the monocle, it is impossible to find yourself, to know exactly where you mm -hmm. are. So if if Minnie had thrown out a spot dodge at that moment, mm -hmm. I actually think that Addy Mystic might uh, might have uh, thrown himself into the blast zone. But then I think again, that's what I was talking about though. Addy Mystic sitting there with two stocks, he could afford to have thrown that stuff. Mm -hmm. Like it worst case scenario. M for Mini has to burn a lot of movement to get back up on the stage, and you're just at a little bit of a reset, but Mini's still damaged. He's still damaged, but he does have the time because he still has the respawn. True. So getting back to the stage, it's not, there's no pressure there. He can still, I think, throw a weapon away and uh, delay it a little bit, picking up whatever's on stage already, but it looks like the reset has happened. They're banning the maps out. Small Mammoth, Shipwreck, Brawlhaven, the three maps up to pick one platform between the three of them. I mean, you can see what Addy's looking for with the map. Basically one platform, not a whole lot else extraneous. And M for Mini goes for the one that's a little bit more out there in terms of it's got the soft mm -hmm. platform moving around. And that's one of those things that we've seen Qatar players talk about is that soft platform can mess up three, mm -hmm. strings. Two, Interestingly one, enough, M for Mini is the one going in with Qatar's, but Addy Mestic with Gauntlets wants similar movement uh, with his follow-up. So it is potentially uh, an issue for Addy Mestic. Mini right now, I think okay. picking this map, giving him a little bit more of an edge to work with, uh, the platform also allowing him to get back to stage. Addy Mystic picking all those maps out specifically for edge guard scenarios. Um, the other two maps having close blast zones or very difficult to return from edge guarding uh, wall positions. Uh, Shipwreck, of course, having the smallest walls in the game. I mean, this is just, I think this was like a, a no brain pick for Mini. Really good stuff from Mini, showing uh, why he picked this map. It's just he's got that confidence with the axe play. He's been playing so incredibly well with this axe in these first start of these first stocks of this grand final set. Uh, but he has swapped on over to the guitars for that kill potential. There's the neutral light, waiting for Addy to burn and dodge. Addy, very patient, recognizes that Mini doesn't like to go for that immediate follow-up. Instead, he just holds away from M for Mini and just floats away. Mini not able to get that follow-up kill. Oh, grab pound! Trouble for Mini, but Mini does get around Addy, not able to get that final hit on to uh, Mini. And I'm really surprised that he dedicated that ground pound so deep uh, to start with both players being in the red and in a very dangerous position. Oh. Mini's done so much in the past to do uh, immediate offstage edge guard reversals to find kills. If that was any higher, that would have been a kill, but then for Mini does finally get the uh, Qatar kill. That's going to be that drill, that recovery. Uh, underneath that takes down Addy Mystic's first stock. Addy Mystic comes back. You got to believe a sidelight from the stage could be a kill option for Addy Mystic, but instead he's going deep. Does hit the unarmed uppercut on the M for Mini. Full reset back to neutral between the two, but Addy's got the weapon control. And Mini looking for that weapon. Addy Mystic very, making it very hard for him to approach that weapon spawn. Mini still no weapon. Finally finding a neutral light to just space out Addy Mastic, give himself a little bit of breathing room and pick up those guitars. The guitars getting a little bit of damage off here and there. Uh, not too many long-winded strings, no guitar loops from Mini right now. He's playing a very careful and precautious game because after what he's been through against Addy Mastic, there is no guarantee that rushing in, trying to deal damage, will give him any benefit. He's playing it very smart, but Addy Mystic just has the pressure and the momentum right now. Oh, oh, nice weapon toss. Addy still saving all of his movement there. He just completely floated down and knows 
absolutely nothing burns to get all of the movement to get back up to the wall and for me not able to get that final hit onto Addy, but that was a real dangerous spot. He still has a dodge to get back to stage. Mini playing it very nicely. Not able to find that follow up to the slide kick. Oh, dropping it again, second time. Addy Messa getting the clash. That could have been dangerous if he was a little bit lower, but Mini and Andy Messick both finding their way back, and that is the side air. Still not, not enough. That is very surprising. The weapon throw, I believe, is going to do That's it. That's oh, going to give him the chase dodge. Andy Messick back up. I think he still had another jump there. But either way, M for Mini guaranteeing Andy Messick is going to get back up onto the stage. Another nair from Andy Messick. Is he going to get a kill from the top of the map with a nair? Unarmed? No, it's going to be the Sword Sarah that takes down M for Mini. And he is sticking with the gauntlet. That's gotta hurt if you're mini because you had that opportunity twice off stage while Addy Messick was in the red, getting that signature, getting the uh, the weapon toss to follow up, and still Addy Messick getting back. What will it take to take him out? How many kill options do you have to use, and how much movement do you have to pressure him with? Because Addy Messick right now extending this stock fantastically, already getting mini into the red, or, or getting close to the red. Excuse me, and that is Mini now holding the, the edge with no weapon, and Addy Messick has okay. been so successful, finally getting taken out by that slide kick uppercut combo. And Mini, I mean, he's on, he's kind of on his last legs right now. This is, there's not much more for him to do. Addy Messick has all the cards in his hand in this fresh stock. One down air off stage could put enough pressure on, but Mini turning things around, maybe. He had control there, but recognized that Addy Mystic was able to get past his there. So he went for the uh, reset onto the stage, wanted to get some safety. Oh, he bumps his head! Could be trouble, but Addy instead went for the weapon toss. He didn't have the opportunity for that ground pound. Back up on the stage, M for Mini gets sent flying, avoids the weapon toss, running out of jumps, and that is going to be the ground pound from Addy Mystic taking game one. Addy Mystic is two games away from going home the gold-plated spring champion of EU. I kind of want to see some gold-plated armor now for winners of these kind of things. I, it would probably be way too expensive to actually do, but... Didn't I'm, they say that, like, like gold and silver are hard to do because you can't get that sheen mm -hmm. that you want? I, I think that that was... They, they, get, they become kind of, not literally dirty, but they become kind of musty in their look. I mean, gold is a very soft, malleable metal, so you get all those, like, imperfections and dents. It's very hard to get, like, I mean, pure, you. you know... That's gold, right? A U. Yeah, that's what I said. Orum. It's the it's the Latin name. <laughs> you know. A little bit of a little bit of science for you for you guys today. Orum and I guess silver was just silver. I actually don't remember Yeah, somewhere out there is a kid who's about to take his his chemistry final and he's like, oh snap, I gotta remember gold's <laughs> AU. You're welcome out there. Alright, coming up next, M for Mini versus Addy Messick. <laughs> Game two, maps getting banned out. M for Mini, you can see he's starting to recognize the maps that Addy wants to play on. He's banned out mm. Brawlhaven, banned out Shipwreck, banned out Mammoth. He's keeping Twilight Grove in there, which is kind of the comfort pick between the two of them. So that might be the ultimate map that they try to play for the rest of the tournament. But either way, uh, you're seeing Addy Messick. Yeah, there he's, he's going to ban him out in there. It is Twilight Grove. Uh, they're, they're planning out their maps, though. They're, they're mm -hmm. really thinking about what maps do they want to play on. Mini wants a little bit more platforms to move on, and Addy Three, wants just two, one flat one, central four. stage with mm -hmm. as few other things as possible. And then, you know, that's something that people don't really realize, is that even though the maps might seem similar on the surface in some ways, there is a lot of different uh, playstyle changes, how you approach your opponent, how you uh, pick your weapons even. Unless you're uh, someone who's just very comfortable on something like a specific character, uh, that can make all the difference in the world, whatever map that you pick. And this map has all these platforms, these different angles to play on. Uh, shorter walls on the main stage, nice. but then you have the island on the side. Oh, Clash! Oh, Clash, he has no dodge. Do that is huge. And for many stuck around there, you saw him. He was in kind of an odd spot there. He was behind Addy Mestic, had his back to the kill box, but instead he just throws out the Sayer, bounces Addy Mestic off the wall, and then was able to follow up, going for that dare. Ended up clashing out with a recovery, and he takes the first stock of Addy Mestic. Very clean play. There's the double neutralite from M for Mini. That neutralite recognizes that they're going to spot dodge, hits a second neutralite. Really good stuff for Mini on this mm -hmm. ass. He's looking very strong now, uh, and this might be the strongest we've seen him uh, overall in this entire set between these two. Uh, oh. Just very dominant with his axe approaches, finally getting taken out, just finally, adding Messick like on the cusp of being in the red damage, and already trying to throw out these moves, trying to be very proactive with that gauntlet play, but Mini ready below. I'm surprised he didn't throw out a GC uh, Fire Breath Qatar play to get that neutral stick up there, catch him off the top and put a little bit more pressure on. Um, 
Usually that is something people like to do when they're below and they're doing an anti-edge guard. Yeah, Ember Mini really hasn't been throwing out that uh, that upward fireball. Instead, he's really just been sitting with those Kataras. Off stage, he'll go for a lot more recoveries, mm -hmm. maybe a couple Sayers, but for the most part, he wants to be on stage with this Katar play. He's not throwing out those neutral signatures uh, the way that so you'll see a Ceres or some other Ragnar players with those Katars do. Mini, no weapon, but he doesn't even need it. Finding an axe isn't gonna gab the time to take use of it while Addy's on the edge. Addy making his way back, landing a few nice ciders there. and the return cider, that reversal. Addy Messick finding his own, and that is side sig offstage option into Sarah forever mini! Out of nowhere! The stack Sarah, I really was not expecting that. They both rolled over that corner, and Mini just throwing out the Sarah gets that spike. Really good stuff. Uh, he's one stock away from tying this up at one apiece. Addy Messick, all he needs to do is hit a side signature, and it'll completely even up the stocks. Addy Messick looking for that neutral air grab. Mini playing the spacing game very well. Addy Messick has to get right into Mini's face. Of course, gauntlets do have that like movement displacement when you throw out attacks, so you can sometimes get that out there. The recovery coming out as the clutch. It doesn't even matter though. That side air from Addy Messick putting Mini on his last stock, making things just about even between the two in stocks. And Mini, very careful to give Addy Messick a lot of respect in how he can approach him, especially without a weapon. The guitars versus the gauntlets now. The, the very close range weapons from both of these players and Addy Messick, these are his weapons of choice. So this confidence weapon, he is very patient on that right wall, does get back up safely, gets a little bit of damage for his troubles, but Ember Mini with the double, gets that downlight into the dare. He tried to go for the weapons off follow-up, couldn't quite keep that pressure going, he instead just swaps on over to this axe, goes for the side stick, but Addy is stacked. Oh, nice movement to avoid that ground pound, that would have been 100% confirmed death if connected. Addy Messi getting knocked off the side. The Sarah, the oh. weapon throw, not going to connect to Addy Messi. Getting back on the stage, not able to get the weapon. Mini does find his own. Recovery, no. That's double the play into recovery, and there it goes. Mini taking it down. Game number two, evening up the set and finishing that off in a very stylish manner. We've seen that time and time again from M for Mini on the guitars. Neutralite. If you dodge down, Mini is waiting for it. Hits a second Neutralite into the recovery. Really good stuff, and there you see it. There's the neutral light. Addy Mestic dodges down. Mm -hmm. Follow up from M for Mania. Really good stuff. Maps getting banned out. It is Small Brawlhaven, Shipwreck Falls, and Small Mammoth. Miami Dome's just there because Addy Mestic has yet to recognize that he hasn't banned it yet. <laughs> well, I mean, you never know. I, Steven, you know, Steven, <laughs> I mean, yeah. he's been he's been aching for more Miami Dome. They picked it while he was casting. And Hilarious. oh, there he is. No, it's just Steven's probably like really disappointed over in the way. He got one. All he right. got one. He did. Everyone and it was one. while he was streaming, yeah. so he yeah, that that's his. Uh... <laughs> they did it just for him, really, is what happened. I, I hope so, because that's that's, that's considered on their part. <laughs> There's some nice guys. Uh, likely will be a small mammoth pick. No, instead we're going over to Small Brawl Haven. And for Mini, he had a really good uh, showing on Small Brawl Haven. I'm surprised he's going to go over. Uh, sorry, on to on Small Mammoth. I'm surprised he's going over to Small Brawl Haven. Three, uh, but maybe two, he's got something one, in mind, or maybe brawl. he's just gonna raw challenge Addy Mastic in that 1v1. But here we go. Picks up the guitars. Uh, no damage done just yet on either side. Addy Mastic picks up the sword as well. First strike advantage coming out from Addy Mastic. Just a quick little side air. Not too much damage here or there. Uh, Mini still has yet to find some damage. Addy Mastic really on point with his movement and his dodges to avoid damage right now. Still hasn't taken a dam any damage. Is he going to look for a perfect stock right now? It is very rare that we see that first stock it perfected, and M for Mini is going to deny the opportunity as he does hit that side light into the nair. This time, side light nair resets back down. We saw him going for an aerial follow up the first time. This time, he went straight back down the ground. Looking for another side light nair. What will his follow up be? There's the neutral light from M for Mini. But I just, I like what he's doing with this Silent Nair. It's not having a consistent follow-up after the Nair. It's just working so incredibly well for Mini. But the ground pound from Addy works very much better. I mean, that's that's an option that you see a lot from uh, every weapon, is that dash in ground pound to, you know, someone just sitting on that push-off column off stage. Um, Addy Mestic being able to recognize that opportunity that he, with gauntlets, has a little bit of extra range because he can guide it forward. He's got that movement in the gauntlet ground pound. Uh, let him go over that corner and uh, catch M for Mini for that early first stock. 
see the neutral light coming out from Addy Messick, trying to get another offstage game. Lots of nares, trying to clap onto Ember Mini, get that dunk. Them for many staying underneath, not letting it happen. Instead, he is looking for the fire, trying to burn the sky on Addy Mestic, but Addy Mestic is avoiding it. Both of them looking for these anti air kills. Which is funny because Addy Mestic, I think, recognizes that, and he's been playing. Uh, right on top of Mini on, on the ground the entire time, but Mini finally finding that kill option in the red, having taken so much damage, he's really got to play uh, the spacing game. He's got to extend the stock out as much as possible. And with Axe, you have a lot of options to build that damage back very quickly. Those high damage opportunities, those neutral lights, like he, you see three of them already connected. Uh, another one coming out, Adimestic looking for that read. Mini going off stage oh, though. Oh, oh, oh. That gives him the ground pound opportunity once again. That's two ground pound KOs in a row. Is this a K-pop group? Because Emperor Mini <laughs> has died to that ground pound twice. Shout outs to K-pop. Emperor <laughs> Mini though. All right, I don't get that. Final <laughs> There's a, it's a K-pop group named twice. That's, that's oh. all you really needed to know for that very terrible setup. But Emperor <laughs> Mini on his Final stock here in game three. He's got the axe in hand, and we see him chunk with the axe consistently, but every time he starts to build that damage and he gets over to the wall, Addy Mestic just comes on over with the ground pound from the guitars, and it takes down M for Mini. Into the final stocks here in game three, M for Mini has the left control, but Addy Mestic not staying on stage to get caught by the axe sidelight. And now just a dancing game between the two. They've been at it so long that they have no idea what the next option is going to be because it's all dependent on their opponent's moves. So that you just see them dodging right on top of each other. Something that you don't see ever when you play ranked, ever when you play experimental, uh, knockout. This is only this level of play. Huge, huge option from Addy Messick to take that. Because that was pretty early as well. Yeah, that was uh, incredibly early. Uh, that's one of the, the pitfalls of Small Brawl Haven. That's one of the reasons why players like Animestic will pick it. He doesn't need all the force in the world to get an early kill. There you see it barely in the orange, and Animestic hits that side signature from about center stage to the left side and uh, takes down M for many. Animestic, one game away from going all the way from the lower bracket. He got taken down by Blue in the winner's mm -hmm. semis, and he does the run through the lower bracket, took down Blue, and is one game away after resetting from getting the gold medal against Ember Mini in the Spring Championship. And they're already getting these map bands out. They're going to Twilight Grove once again. It's on for Mini. He's got to win out at this point if he wants no, Even it's, it's M for many, not on for many. Uh, Three, two, it's, one, <laughs> You know what I was going for. <laughs> the know. chat knows what I was going for. That's for I me. know you're That's, messing for really, me. That was for me. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're messing with me. I'll take it and I'll, <laughs> and I'll run with it. Addy Messick looking for that weapon though. Many in this game number three. Addy Messick looking to take this game in this tournament into his hands. Just take it down and take that first place. He's looking to take everything. Mini, on the other hand, trying to make that three game run, trying to bring this all back into his own, show that he made his run through the winner's bracket for a reason, and that no internet issues will stop him. Will that be the case? That's the answers we're looking for right now. He has set up for the next weapon to be an axe. All he needs is a dare, and that one will be it. Gonna be going back to the axe. Next weapon will be Katars for M for Mini, uh, going for that 50-50. I'm, I'm, I'm almost surprised he didn't leave it, because we've seen that M for Mini is very confident in his axe play. His Katars, they've been hit and miss. He's had some consistency with kill options from the Katars, but he hasn't had the big damage building that he has with this axe, just chunking away at his opponents. And so I'm almost surprised he didn't leave it so that his next weapon pickup would be the end. So Natty Mestic going to be finishing it off with that unarmed side air over the left side. All even stocks. I mean, it is fresh damage on both accounts. Natty Mestic has the weapon and the positioning. Just deny it. Looking for that follow-up. I mean, it's almost... It's almost an option for Maddie Messick in that scenario to let Mini just run straight for the weapon because as he's going to pick it up, you can get that option to uh, kind of th force an edge guard situation. I mean, that's all the way on the left, right at the very tip of that platform. And Addy Messick looking for a follow up, a third down air, not going to connect though. Uh, that would have been a definite kill onto him because that's that was th that would have been three interrupts. It was uh, definitely starting to be dangerous for M for Mini. There's the first sword down signature we've seen from Addy Messick. That disco sword signature uh, coming out couldn't quite get a hit onto M for Mini, 
And now we're seeing the Axe Trunks come out. Sidelight into the Nair, couldn't quite get the recovery. Follow up, Addy Mystic over to the Gauntlets. Trying to stay stack, hits the Sidelight. Mini spot dodges, but Addy a little bit preemptive there with that second Sidelight. Side signature does connect though. That force push takes down M for Mini and Addy Mystic is one stock away from being the gold medal finisher for EU's Spring Championship. Mini looking for that weapon though, he is gonna be finding the guitars, trying to get on top of Addy Mestic. He's got these diagonal options that he can bring on a sword. Sword being, you know, super uh, versatile in where it can hit. Uh, the guitars do bring those diagonal hitboxes to the table where you can kind of get into those like very small blind spots on the sword where maybe those cardinal directions because like it's all uh, left and right or up and down that it really does cover cars having those diagonals he can get on top of that if he plays his cards right but it is going to be a complete swap from both of these guys uh maybe looking for that anti-air again but addy mestic he doesn't fall for this ever in like like unless he's already been hit trying to find his way back oh to the the winner of 20 thousand iq play it. addy mestic takes it like, down what? with a 20 billion iq play that weapon throw bouncing it off the Actually stage corner what? what the heck addy mestic 